Hello there. So this is the last part of the lecture. We are going to look at uh, Lee and Schaeffer. And look at uh, Lee and Schaeffer model. The Schenger model. So Lee and Schaeffer right and uh, employ the employed uh more circle together with a merchant circle yeah, to relate the shear angle uh, with friction and rate anger so their assumption or their their shear angle model is equal to pi over 4 minus beta plus alpha and and, and we're going to see how this assumption was formed or how this relationship was formed so the first thing we will look at, we're going to look at the assumptions. What they, what they both of them assume. So the material is uh, insensitive to strain hardening. So IE, uh, the Johnson Cook constant B and N are low. Okay. And then here uh, they again assume the material is uh, insensitive to both temperature and strain rate so for this case M in Johnson Cook M constant is very high okay where C is approximately equal to zero okay we look at the Johnson Cook equations so from from here okay they 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 design okay they design okay, they design and idealize slip life view model So they design. So I'm going to show you how they draw this slip line field. Okay. So uh, we're going to look at how I'm going to draw it. Okay. Is, is the drawing of this slip line field that's critical? Yeah. So we're going to have uh, the tool. So this is my tool. So I'm 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 going to I'm going to have a a tool. Uh, with a specific so I'm going to make it as 10 degrees okay, 10 degrees rate angle okay, so you will have 10 degrees so 10 degrees so this is about 10 degrees 
So rig face. This is the clearance face. Okay, so this is the clearance face. So as usual, this is our tool. Okay. Then we have <laughs> our uh, undeformed chip thickness. Okay, so this is where the line passes through. The two will move across. Okay. Then this is our undeformed chip thickness. And then we're going to have a shear angle of about, I'm, I'm just drawing it, uh, we're going to t see a shear angle of uh, 20 degrees. Okay, It's just a, an arbitrary number that I pick is 20 degrees. It's not easy to use a protractor on a computer. Okay, So this is my this is my shear angle setting at 20 degrees okay. so this is at 20 degrees and then I draw the free surface okay. and then after that another line that's parallel to the rig face Then from here, uh, we are going to distribute. Okay, from here, I hope I could do this. This is my first time drawing this on a computer. Okay, so I'm going to paste, and then I'm going to rotate this by 90 degrees. Okay, so and I'm going to get this line to be orange in color. So wait, let me change the property. Uh, orange okay so this line will be 90 degrees to the shear plane okay so I'm going to label this point A just bear with me and this is my point C down here okay so I'm going to make this align to the to my uh, shear plane Okay, so they are 90 degrees. So pace, pace. Okay, so they are so they are all 90 degrees here. Okay, so you can evenly eyeball this, evenly distribute the four lines or the three lines. Okay. Okay. Then you will have. So then you will have. Uh, you I will have to copy this again and then I'm going to paste and then we will rotate this <coughs> uh, to the right or, or sorry to the left by 45 degrees okay so you can use your protractor to, to draw this so this is 45 degrees okay, so so I'm going to write okay so this is 45 degrees Right, so we know that this angle over here <coughs> is equal to pi by 4 and where it intersect over here this is my point B not beta this is my point B then from here I'm going to uh, use my dark lines so the thicker lines are the actual construction of the slip line okay, so this is one okay so the slip line are perpendicular to the shear plane two and then three then the other line from here to here so they're all so it's a like rectangle or uh, I mean they're square ish So the dark line I've drawn is how 
Li and shear for construct the shear plane. Okay, and then I'm going to copy the orange line. I'm going to paste. So this orange line over here, okay, you don't need to draw. So this is this makes an angle over here, and this angle is equal to n. Okay, so that's an angle. So this is how uh, Lee and Schaefer construct their slip line. Okay, so this is the chip. Right, so we have our undeformed chip thickness T, and over here the 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 tool will force a VS. Okay, we we'll want the material to move that way. So VS correspond to a uh, chip or, or shear plane velocity. Sorry, shear plane. Okay, shear plane velocity. Okay, and then there's a so you want to uh, go for that direction, and then this is our uh, rig angle, right? So over here, this angle corresponds to our alpha. For this case, it's ten degrees. So they from here they still they they make he make more assumptions. Okay, that. Uh, no stress is acting above the line AB. Okay, a uh, plastic deformation Occurs on the line AC, okay, and the orientation. This they got from Merchant, okay. Orientation uh, of line AC is such that. it will generate minimum force so this is similar like like merchant okay and the other thing that he they they highlight is lines ac okay and line BD okay not BB BD so D is where it intersect so this is my point D okay upper perpendicular and straight this is a simplification okay upper perpendicular and straight So then they took out two elements. Okay, they, they they took out two elements. Okay, remember most circle have elements. So they took out two elements. So they took out one of these elements. And they took out these elements over here and they analyzed. So I'm gonna I'm gonna like draw uh I'm gonna like draw those elements. Okay, so the element that they have looks like this. Okay, so this is one side of the element. And then you have this. There's the other side of the element. So they took out the elements. And then the other one is from here to here. So this is element number one. Okay. Cut. Bring it down here. We're going to analyze the elements. Okay. Now we go back to Mo circle. So element. Okay. So now we go back to the element. And then they did another element over here. Okay, so I'm going to draw another set of elements. So I'm going to draw a bigger element down here. Okay, 
and then this correspond to the break face and then they're gonna join and okay, they're gonna join from here to here mm. yeah I just can't get it to be small enough okay so it's okay So they take these two elements okay, So this is 90 degrees This is 90 degrees Right So we know on this surface The normal stress and shear stress is equal to what? Zero Okay all of them has hydrostatic pressure acting here and this hydrostatic pressure we call them P okay likewise for this it has hydrostatic pressure acting here P and it has hydrostatic pressure acting here P so P is the hydrostatic pressure So remember I told you guys about the velocity. So you have a shear plane velocity that is Vs in this direction. Okay, Vs in this direction. So when that's the case, the shear stress will act in the opposite direction. So this is how the shear stress will act. It will oppose the velocity. Okay, it will oppose the velocity. And this is when that's the case this will come over here right shear stress and if it's going away this point will also be going away and this is your shear stress okay and then we know that the chip will be sliding on VC the material will oppose and then the shear stress will come down here okay so you have a particular shear stress here and then you have a particular normal stress here. I do apologize. The shear stress I'm going to call it not, not as tau. Okay, so for this case, I'm going to call them as k. Okay, so these are also k, where k uh, correspond to the shear flow stress. Okay, so that's how you uh, draw your elements so we know that this is pi by 4 we know that this angle corresponds to n okay so now we have all our stresses okay so I'm gonna call this uh, I'm gonna call this my point A call this point B and call this point C and I'm gonna call this point D and we'll call this point E and I'm call this point F. Okay, so now we're going to do a uh, uh, mole circle now. Okay, so now let's let's look at uh, mole circle. So I'm going to try to okay, put everything into mole circle. So if we look at mole circle, I don't know the values. Okay, but I know where they were likely ended up in. So mole circle. Okay. So you have on your x-axis normal stress and on your on your y-axis is your uh, shear stress so this is your normal stress and then this will be your shear stress I'm going to focus on compression because the normal the normal stresses are acting compression so this is a shear normal stress shear stress rotation clockwise shear stress rotation anti-clockwise then I'm going to construct my circle okay so two four six eight I'm going to be, make a big circle four up and four down okay so this is our circle everything is in compression So we know at this point over here, right? We are aware at this point over here. 
this point over here, this is our point C, right? Zero normal and shear stress. And point A, point C to point A will rotate anticlockwise, okay, anticlockwise point pi by four. So this is your center of your circle, right? Anticlockwise rotation, this is where you have your point A. Okay, so the point A over here, so this point over here corresponds to the distance from here to here in terms of normal stress. This is your uh, normal stress value P, right? And over here, this height over here, this corresponds to your shear stress K. And then if you look at point A, the rotation of the elements is going clockwise on A. That's why A is on top. B is 90 degrees from A. So over here, this is your point B. Okay, this is your point B. So you got your A, B, C already. And then if you look at the other element at D, the other element at D is also going compression, but D is generating a clockwise uh, rotation of the element. So this is point D. And then the last one, uh, B, uh, uh, E, right, is generating anticlockwise, anticlockwise. So this is where your point E first. And then from here, you want to find where is point F, okay? So where is point F on, on the... So if you look at point D, D to N is going to rotate anticlockwise by N. So if you draw, if we construct a vertical line over here, <coughs> right? So we know anticlockwise from D, so anticlockwise rotation, you know roughly over here, it will rotate by what? This value over here will be equal to what? 2n. Okay, so this is precisely where our point F is located. Okay, where our point F is located. So I'm going to, we are going to look at point F. So point F, what we have for point F is it has a certain uh, magnitude. Okay, it has a certain magnitude of normal stress. Right? Which correspond these two are the same. And it has a specific amount of shear stress. Okay, it has a specific amount of shear stress from here to here. Okay. So if if you look at so we want to find the relationship. Okay, what is this relationship? So now we 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 go into uh, merchant circle. We go into merchant circle. So I'm going to sketch down here merchant circle. Now merchant circle and mole circle are not related. Okay, merchants circle. So I'm going to draw uh, not too big of a circle. So if you look at merchant circle, uh, three six three six. Okay, three six, right? So when we have the rig face of the two, right? We have the rig face of the two. So for example, if this is my rig face of the two, right? And then it crosses uh, the 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 it crosses. Okay, so this is the resultant. Right, it crosses to the resultant. And then we draw this. So we know those three values, all right? So not know, but we know that this is your R, this is your FC, and this is your NC. And the angle we call this is beta. Okay, we call this beta. So we know that uh, tangent beta is equal to FC over NC, right? tangent beta then if we divide by the area okay area so we have a specific area so we we call this our area right so tangent beta okay tangent beta is equal to FC over specific area and then NC over specific area so this 
which is related to the rate phase, will correspond to the shear stress divided by the normal stress. Okay, so this shear stress over here is related to this shear stress. Sorry, normal stress were related to this normal. The shear stress is also related to the shear stress. So when that's the case, you can specify. Hey, we we can find that this angle, okay, this relationship tangent beta is also this angle over here. Right? So if you look at beta over here, so you get beta over here, so you find tangent beta from mole circle is also the shear stress divided by the what? Normal stress. Okay? So when that's the case, if this is also what? This is also beta, right? This angle over here will be known as what? 2 beta. So from from here we found a relationship where so from mole circle right tangent beta is equal to uh oh sorry not tangent beta from mole circle we know that 2 beta plus by 2 n is equal to 9 d degrees which is pi over 2 so we we establish this relationship okay and then from the next part if we were to take this entire geometry so i'm going to i'm going to draw i'm going to take this entire geometry now okay we're going to look at this geometry over here you're going to find a uh, 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 physical geometry now over here okay and then we're going to join this line uh okay i'll do it on the next page okay i'm going to copy and i'm going to do it on the next page right so from here right we know that this angle that's made over here this is what this is pi and then we know this is your alpha so this is based on based on physical geometry right we know that this is 90 degrees we know that this angle is pi by 2 minus by the shear angle and this relationship is equal to n so from here angle sum of a triangle right so it's pi is equal to n plus by pi plus by pi over 2 minus by the shear angle right and then you you have uh you have uh n plus by alpha right so you have angle sum of a triangle so you have pi over 2 so you have pi okay so you when 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 you bring this uh across angle sum of triangle so pi so oh sorry you have to plus another pi over 2 Okay, pi over two, pi over two. Oh, you sh sorry. Let me do this again. Angle sum of a triangle is equal to pi. Is equal to uh, pi over two minus by the shear angle, plus by the alpha angle, plus by pi over two, plus by n. So you can get rid of this. So finally, you find out that your n is equal to uh, pi the shear angle minus by alpha okay so from mole circle you get the relationship where 2n plus by 2 uh 2n plus by 2 be or 2 beta plus by 2n is equal to pi over 2 then you have 2 beta plus by twice pi minus alpha is equal to pi over 2. So you have 2 pi is equal to pi over 2, right? Pi over uh, 2 
minus by 2 beta plus by 2 alpha so therefore your shear angle relationship is pi over 4 minus beta plus by alpha so the relationship that they have got on most circle is different okay so from here you have to learn the, all this I'm going to stop here but you have to complete questions okay on assignment 4 okay so I uh, next week when I see you we'll do temperature so next week we'll look at temperature and then we will continue our lecture okay so thank you for your time and thank you for letting me do this online with you guys thank you bye